What is going on, you beautiful human being? We're gonna go to the dog park today. Love for you to come along with us. And there's a little bit of a surprise. You might be able to tell from my toque or if you're kind of peeking out there at all. If you do end up liking this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you wanna see more, subscribe. Let's get into it. Okay, we just pulled up. We made it to the dog park. And like I said, we have a surprise. We'll show you in a second. All right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. We got our first snow of the year. Well, I guess of the season. Isn't that crazy? Oh yeah, you scraped that ground, buddy. Yeah, we got snow. You probably guessed from my toque. <laughs> oh, they're so fast. One of the most difficult things about having glasses is when I try to cover my face, I definitely end up fogging them up a lot, which is kind of annoying, but <laughs> whatever. Axel loves this type of weather. <laughs> it's that coat of his. It helps keep him warm. You can see he's hunting too. He loves to chase little animals. He's so cute. It's definitely super muddy today. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell. Um, there's kind of this like steep hill to come down into this forest area. And it was so slippery, like I have my muck locks on. But yeah, I basically just, luckily I didn't fall on my butt. I was expecting that to happen, but I didn't. Oh, my gosh. oh they're so fast. <laughs> of course, Monkey and Axel aren't bothered by the mud at all. They don't care. I mean, I guess they only care if I have to bath them later. <laughs> Or bathe them, not bath them. Then they care. Definitely one of the positive things about having dogs is they definitely force you to go out <laughs> and walk them, even when it looks like this. But then one of the tough things about having dogs is cleaning them when we get home. <laughs> oh, I got a quick little update for you guys as well. So the dogs have been doing really well. Um, Axel has his winter coat starting to come in. And oh my gosh, monkey, you're so dirty. I don't know if the, I don't know if the camera is catching that up. Catching that, but it has yeah. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, you're ridiculous. Oh, uh, monkey just always sheds. Um, Kieran, my partner, he was down for the weekend and he just left today to drive back. And then next weekend, I'm going to be driving up to see him. So that's kind of the tough thing about having a bit of a long distance relationship is you don't really get to see each other that often, but at least with social media and technology and everything we can still kind of facetime each other and talk that way so that's been nice so it's a long drive though i think it's like seven hours so that'll be fun to do next weekend for sure and of course when i do head up there the dogs come with me as well and they actually do a pretty decent job traveling i haven't ever had any issues with them
Do you like eating the snow? It's like a nice little drink. Oh my God. There's all these really adorable little baby chickadees. Well, they're not baby. Oh, did you see one? They're so cute and fluffy. Ooh. I try to hold my hand out, but the last time I was here, I had a couple land on my hand. I felt so bad for not having any seed. You're a goof. Another difference between pugs and shebas. <laughs> Monkey typically stays this close to me, but Axel, he just is all over the place. What a goof. Monkey's birthday is actually also coming up in November. And I think he's turning, hmm, 2014, I think was when he was born. So, <laughs> nine, is he turning nine? He might be. That's a nice thing about snow haze. It kind of makes a fun little snack. Yep, and grass as per usual. What a goofball. You're silly! Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, he's chasing something. He's such a little hunter. I don't know. I heard somewhere that Sheba translates to bush dog. And I mean... He definitely falls into that. <laughs> Monkey's like my shadow. And Axel is just his own thing. <laughs> he camouflages so well, though. Like, I don't know if you can see him. He's right here. But he camouflages just amazingly. Another update for you guys as well is I'm still, oh wow, look at those big birds. Oh, they're cranes. It's probably hard to tell on video. Wow. Very cool. Well, it's hard to see the dogs, hey? Spot the dogs. Of course, monkey's coming back. <laughs> um, woo! Another update I have for you guys is I am still in school, so I'm actually trying to get my master's degree in counseling psychology with the hopes of becoming a registered psychologist, just to be able to further and continue to help people in mental health related concerns. So I just started in September, and now that we're coming at the end of October here. I've handed in a few assignments now. I'm starting to kind of get my research together. And it's been going okay. <laughs> it's like you wake up in the morning, have a little bit of existential dread. And then lunch, maybe some internal panic. And then for dinner, maybe some external panic. <laughs> uh, yep. That's just the nature of doing research and being in school. We're 
almost back to the car. And another difference between Axel and Monkey is normally at this point, I put Axel on leash just because when we go into the parking lot, he doesn't always listen to me. And if other people are around, he'll just be like, yo, what's up? So let's see how his recall is. Axel, come. Yes, good boy, come here, hey. <laughs> he psyched me out, Axel, good, come here. All right, let's put this on you quick. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, there we go. Good boy, good boy, yeah. Side note, I love how this group of trees right here is like, we're just gonna keep being trees. <laughs> like literally everything else has died. Well, not died, lost its leaves, except these guys. That's hilarious. Wow, look at all those cranes. That's so cool. I heard that their migratory path falls in this area. So they probably won't stick around too long, but that's really cool to see. Look at them. That's so All right, cute. I just walked in the door. The dogs aren't inside yet because, like I said, it, um, oh, don't mind the, you know, Costco run the other day, right? I just haven't put it away yet. <laughs> So I'm getting some dog towels. So if you have a dog and you don't have designated dog towels, you're definitely not doing it right. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just find them helpful um, when we go somewhere and they get really dirty. And I just find it helpful to kind of clean their paws this way. Okay, we're gonna do one at a time. You're first. All right, sit. Good boy. Good boy. Let me just do your paws. Good job. Good job. Back one. Good job. Good job. <laughs> good job. You're doing good. I know it's annoying. It's annoying, huh? Yeah. Can you hear him groaning? He's like, let me go. Let me go. <laughs> oh my God. All right, where's the other one? Monkey. Oh God. Oh my God, he has like huge drool on his face right now. Oh. <laughs> he must've been eating wood or something. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, you're a wreck. Can you sit? Oh my god. Sit. Oh my god, buddy. Come here. Sit. Yes. Stay. Oh my god. Nope. I'm gonna, I don't wanna hurt you. Please stop moving. God. You're the worst. You are the worst. Please don't sneeze on me. Please don't sneeze on me. Oh my god, you are the absolute worst, dude. You are the worst. But I love you. <laughs> I love you, but you're terrible. You're so bad and dirty. And you eat stuff. I'm just kidding, you're not bad. You're just dirty. You're just a dirty boy. And you smell. Time to go get a bath, I think. All right, as good as it's gonna get. You guys enjoyed your walk today? Yeah. Well, thanks for coming with us. Subscribe and like if you like it. Peace.